Hi, I'm Connor McClendon. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? For the final Hamped Up episode before the holiday break, we decided to talk to the swimming and diving team about their season. Hi, I'm Connor McClendon, and I was going to do a poolside interview with the swim team, but they kicked us out because the divers need quiet. So we are standing in a freezing cold hallway. I am with Cam Miller, Cam Miller and Lily Ellinger, and we're here to talk about swimming. Where are you hoping to finish by the end of the season? We, um, we definitely started off this year with a bunch of new swimmers who um, not all of them had past swimming experience. So, you know, we were going in like, okay, um, we don't really know how the season's going to play out. But I was really happy to see from both the guys' teams and the girls' team um, from our first couple of meets that everyone has been practicing really hard and they're getting good times. I've heard a lot of people complain about the JFK pool, like it's hard to breathe in there. So has that been a challenge for you guys? Yeah, for me, since I have asthma, it's been kind of tough. And they said that they fixed it, but it doesn't seem like they've made much of a difference. Half of our team kind of suffers from asthma, which is really funny. But um, there, I mean, yes, they did fix the air quality, and it's gotten a little better, but there are days where it still gets really, really bad. So is it, is it better at other pools that you've been to at different high schools? Not really. Northampton ended up losing to East Hampton, but Nick Whitcomb set a record during the meet. All right, so how does it feel to have broken the Western Mass and team record for the 100-meter backstroke? Feels pretty good. Got a lot of adrenaline going, got a lot of my teammates cheering for me, so that really helped push me through to the end. Were you expecting to break the record today? Um, yeah, um, I was expecting to go about what I went, um, which is like almost a second under the Western Mass record. Um, it was personal best time, so that was, that was an additional bonus. That was nice, yeah. And finally, what did the official say to you after the race? Um, the official said that slamming my hand on the water, which was my celebration, could be seen as unsportsmanlike conduct. Luckily, they didn't disqualify me, but it was just a warning. In other sports news, both the boys and girls basketball teams won big this week. The boys won their home opener against Commerce 62 to 34, and the girls took down Amherst on the road 67 to 30. The girls are undefeated at 3-0, and the boys improved to 2-2.